What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for mail and mail and Sega? Hey. Yeah. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. That's right. Our buddy Sega had a fellow member of the Retro Refresh crew, my Tom from Another Mom has sent us another parcel. Yeah, he knew we needed a printer, so he sent us a printer. That was sweet. So <laughs> thanks, man. All right, guys. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. It's over. Go home. Now, for real, we've been having a lot of fun sending stuff back and forth uh, to Sega Head and Pissed Off Togepi, and they have been having just as much fun, I think, sending stuff our way Unless it's birdie bots. No, thank you, guys. Well, I had fun with the birdie bots. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is great. <laughs> what is it? Oh. 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 It's so bad. Why did you let us do that? It's so bad! If you guys have not checked out Sega Head's channel, you are missing out. Big time. He is freaking hilarious. He has some of the best Let's Plays ever. He's covering all things to do with Sega, but he doesn't stop there. Check out his Game Poke series. You're going to learn something new. Uh, this one has bought a controller or two, I think, I because have, of yes, that. Yes. Very informative. Yes. Naturally, there will be links in the description below. All right, enough fluffing him up. I think we want to see what's in this box. We do, we do. Oh, we're doing this again. Confetti <laughs> saved up. Before we get into the box, one last thing: a cute little Deadpool sticker and a cute little Elmo. And let me tell you, if you are a uh, Sega Head super fan like we are, you know what that Elmo sticker is referencing. I thought it'd be more fun to ruin your childhoods with me, Elmo, playing sexy poker. <laughs> oh. Huh. I thought well, that's he, nice. I thought he said that was his favorite part of the whole box we sent him. And he said that was for the kids, so... Not only did he lie to us, but he took the kid's toy. I see. Oh. I'm done. We really wanted to see what we thought of the stuff she sent, so we had to make this video as quick as possible. Anyway. This is what I mean. He sends the good stuff. <gasps> what is it? Oh, that's mine. Oh. Oh. Guys, I don't see another bag in there. He sent me a whole bag of our favorite oh. candy bar crunchies. check out our taste test video we got to try i think it was just one of these bars yeah it was just a big one then the spread oh yeah we're rationing that spread by the way <laughs> that's not the only goodie he sent oh he told us about these cakes He's been going on and on about Mr. Kipling. As far as I know, we do not have these stateside. If we do, maybe at certain regions, yeah. certain shops. And the French fancies are yes. his favorites. Dainty sponge fancies with a delicious vanilla topping drenched in soft fondant icing. Ooh, and look at that. Lovingly baked in Britain. Well, those are kind of big. I was thinking like pedophore size, so a little smaller. Those are big. Now he just said the French fancies were his favorite, right? He didn't say like a specific flavor. Right, yeah. Well, I like my chocolate, so that's that's the first place I'm going. I'm kind of hoping for strawberry. Oh my gosh. The cake, now over here, sometimes we can get some like very dense cakes this it's it's melty mm. it, it's like like that soft like it's weird to use the cliche line it melts in your mouth but it does yeah it really does and that's really thrown me off for cake because we might have like a fudge that would do that but a mm -hmm. cake never does that the other thing that i'm finding a little different is 
Well, this fondant is not like our fondant icing. Because our fondant icing is more of like almost a marshmallowy, like tough, really don't want to eat. This is like almost just like a, a hardened frosting. It is very, very sweet for me, possibly you as well. Like a cup of hot black say, coffee. I would love a cup of coffee. But this would be with perfect for it because, you know, like to counteract all that sweetness. Friday wrote Mr. Kipling a fancy dress party for my nephew, for which I created something rather fancy. My exceedingly delicious French fancies. So, some more Mr. Kipling, and these are Viennese whirls. Oh. oh I see raspberry. Yeah. Light shortcake swirl filled with a fruity raspberry jam and a smooth cream filling. I love raspberry filling. Okay. Oh, that smells like like those really good like just like butter cookies. I'm gonna break your heart, Sega. I think I like these better than oh the, no than the Frenchies. I mean, I love cake and icing, but there's just something about a good like butter cookie that's just so good. Very soft cookie, but that cream and that raspberry filling. Mm -hmm. And what's really nice on this, over here, a lot of the uh, cookie sandwiches that we have, that thin layer of whatever the filling mm. is, yeah. this yeah, does not good... skimp on that. Yeah. And I like that. This guy is not going to stop until we have the diabetes. <laughs> Well, we might as well oh my. keep it going. <laughs> so this trilogy continues, Mr. Kipling. I'm thinking trifle bakewells. Yeah, I can see that. A layer of plum and raspberry oh. jam with vanilla flavor sponge and a custard flavor topping. Seeing these, I know whenever I've been over to Europe, I like going to the local grocery store and just kind of like seeing what they've got. I really do feel like this would have been something we would have picked up. I think these would have caught our eye. That smells good. These little tiny cake or pie tins. That's so That's cute. That's adorable. Oop. I need like a little fork. There's a lot of flavor going on there. There is. Um, out of these three, this might be the wine that's winning me over. Ooh. It's a very, very smooth, sweet flavor. And I don't know that we really do a whole lot of things with plum here. No, we don't. So maybe that's why it's really kind of uh, you know dancing on the taste buds there. Well, looks like you have a favorite tray, I have a favorite tray, and then we can split the other one. Uh, no, we're splitting all of them because I like all of them. I'm just saying deserted island if Tom and Charlie are finished fattening us up. <laughs> I'm not immediately seeing any more treats right on the top. Uh-oh, I lied. It's a donut. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, how cute oh. is that? Oh, it's really squishy, too. It's a neck pillow. That is so cute. I like getting neck pillows when I go, when I travel, and I usually don't want to take one because I'm like, oh no, I don't want to mess with that neck pillow. And then halfway through the trip, I'm like, I need a neck pillow. That is so cute. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Well, while she goes to sleep, I'm going to see what else is in here. <laughs> and there's some cute things on here. Look, there's Pixies and Buckbeak and Norbert and Nagini and Severus. Hedwig, there's like everything on here. This really is oh my a gosh. Harry Potter and feel all star. How soft that is. Yeah, that is, that is very awesome. Nice. Oh, look, there's Fox. <laughs> yeah, this is this way. Uh, I kind of figured you were stealing that. <laughs> oh. This should go perfectly with your pillow. Now you can relax and drink with something cold to drink. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love it. And there's some characters that they don't typically throw together, which I love because Luna is my favorite character. That is super cute. We also love having water bottles like this in the house because oh, yeah. we generally pre-fill a lot of these mm -hmm. and keep them in the fridge. That way, you know, if you want one, head it out. 
quick grab, ready to go. I'm set. Yay, more foam! Hey, look, look, we can make you a neck pillow too. So you set them both back. Huh? <laughs> Fine. Oh, it's one of your oh, drawstring bags. Oh, I love these drawstring bags. Oh, they're pixelated Marvel characters. How great is that? Oh my gosh, this is totally taking me back to the Super Nintendo game War of the Gems. Wait, where do you guys even find this stuff? They have cool stuff over there. Obviously. That's neat. Comes apart and then you can make a whole one. <laughs> and you don't want to do a backpack. Oh, I thought it was for like quickly taking it off so you can throw your clothes in there, put on your Spider-Man oh, PJs wow. and run down the street. One of my old backpacks from high school. Forgot I attached tracking dots to these. Oh, oh. you got some. Thing. Look at this. That a, is a fancy pen. A Wizarding World house pen, and it is for Slytherin. Nice. I think Tom and Charlie may have just uh, raided the Wizarding World shops and ran out with a little bit of everything, <laughs> which I'm kind of fine with because I'm pretty sure you didn't get caught and you sent it here. But. Oh, I get one too! Yay! <laughs> I saw that in there, but I had to keep her in suspense. Oh, it's so mean. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. <laughs> Those are cool. They are really they get a nice, nice sculpt of them. pins, yeah. I like how the snake comes up off the top of it. Ah, Sisa, Sisa, Sisa. I'm a slither. Look at my tongue. <laughs> 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 You've always got to be a Hufflepuff in the streets and a Slytherin in the sheets. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if for any reason you guys didn't know, obviously these are our houses, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. Proud Hufflepuff. So look at that. Sega head, pissed off Togepi, taking notes, probably with their own pins, and remembering which houses are ours. Whoa. <laughs> Look nice. at this. Star Fox 3D. And it is covered in paint, but I think I know why. Because this belonged to the Bill Thorpe. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the details exactly, but Tom told me that Bill had this and asked if he wanted it. And I guess he took it, but then he was like, I don't really want that. <laughs> <laughs> so look, it came back to America. The OCD part of me wants to like clean, clean off it. the paint, but the part that knows it's from Bill, I kind of don't want to clean it because this is like a one of a kind art piece right here. <laughs> is he part of the Blue Man Group? <laughs> <laughs> He's the Bill Man Group. The Bill Man Blue Man Group. <laughs> so Star Fox 64 3D. Now, I didn't play Star Fox 64 on the 64. So this is going to be brand new for me. But something that's interesting is on the back, it's talking about tilt and move, like for the controls oh. and everything. And Nintendo stuff usually has a pretty good gyroscope, but I'm curious how well that would work for a 3DS. You know, it's like, is it yeah. going to feel very natural to kind of be flying around and tilting? Am I going to have to like jump in the air and do a barrel roll to do a barrel roll? And it's got everything inside the manual, the club Nintendo, the game. It's even got the receipt. <laughs> but we do that too, though. Usually we always stick our receipts inside our oh, yeah. on our game boxes. It's a, it's a piece of history. Uh -huh. Next up, we have... Oh, I think you were telling me about this, Tom. It's the Gear Master. I was having some issues with the Sega Master system. I, I don't know what's wrong. I still haven't figured it out. I kept thinking it was something to do with the cables because it was showing that it was getting power. It was just not receiving it on the TV. So I was trying everything I could think of. I was trying the Master System 2. I was trying to put the power base converter in models 1, 2, and 3. I mean, anything that I could think of. And nothing was working. And finally, I got so frustrated, I was like, forget it. And Tom was like... Have you tried using the attachment 
to the game gear. Well, I don't have that one. <laughs> he made sure I did. So look at this neat little thing. It plugs into the game gear and lets you play Master System games on your game gear. That's clever. This is by Bishu. Where's the bumblebee? <laughs> bumblebee tuna? Bumblebee tuna! This man is doing nothing but giving when it comes to games. Ooh. So oh. That's the game you guys were talking about. You're so so <laughs> Now, over here in the States, this is called Crusader of Sinti, I believe. And this is a game that bears a striking resemblance to a certain green-clad elven hero on Nintendo systems. And I was very interested in playing this. This is a very expensive American game. But Solil here <laughs> doesn't go for as much. Tom got a pretty good deal on this. Now, he told me there's no booklet. I don't care. It has the, the cover and everything, which is awesome. I'm more interested in that part. Yes. This, it looks in pretty good condition. It, it really mm -hmm. does. And, I mean, just looking at this game, it is so gorgeous. This is so reminiscent of the 16-bit games that I grew up playing, and I cannot wait to try this out because it's basically like I'm going to get to play a brand new Zelda game. And who doesn't ever want that? Dracula? No, wolf. All right. The old lady won't come out of the fireplace, so you can take her place. Haha. -ha. I'm sorry, what? Oh, he's flashing me. I don't like it. You're awful sweet, Tom. He must get that from Charlie. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's a shirt. Uh-oh. Uh, we sent him a come and go shirt. I don't know what he might have sent in return. Oh, he, he was a lot nicer than us. <laughs> <laughs> We have the Millennium Falcon. That's a nice shirt. That I is like a nice shirt. shirt. And it's got a good length, which is usually an issue in my shirts. I mean, I, I usually need a shirt that can get around me, but I also need one with some length. Oh, yeah, a really long torso. And I don't have enough Star Wars shirts. We always find that out. Whenever a Star Wars movie was coming out, you didn't have a shirt to wear. Yeah. So now you do. Try to... If they make another Star Wars movie to come out. It's Disney, they're gonna make more. <laughs> because that makes money. <laughs> oh, -da! mystery figures! Super Mario Lego mystery packs. All right, all right. You can take it that one? Yep. Ta -da! Ta -da! Sweet. So I've got Bullet Bill raging through the desert. Boom. And I've got an urchin ready to hurt the crap out of your foot when you step on it. <laughs> She's speaking from experience. These are great. I know. Every time we go to the store, they're out of these. We yeah. always see the empty bins. So I'm so glad that he found some and sent them to us. So yeah, these are our first Lego Mario bits. So thank you very yes. much, both of you guys. I think in honor of this game here, I will just have to refer to him as Bullet Bill Thorpe. <laughs> That's funny. There's a uh, there's a, a Lego piece uh -oh. in here, um, and those were sealed. So unless there's something else that needs this, you guys might be missing a piece. Right, row. Wait. It's a stand and I know what it goes to. Oh, nice. It goes to Ghost Spider. Nice. I love her web, like I whip know. Piece. I love that a lot of the Spider-Men and women, the spider people, <laughs> come with the web so that you can kind of, you know, hang them up and stuff. 
That is so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> and you love your minifigs. Anyway. I do love my minifigs. I have such a collection of minifigs and I'm very annoyed that I cannot find a proper app to catalog this. There are Lego minifig apps out there, but they're for the blind packs. They're not for uh, the, because yeah. these are technically not Legos. <laughs> they're- Lego? Kind of, yeah. Lego? Is it just me or does something seem weird today? There's no actual really good way for me to catalog that when I go to the conventions and I'm trying to add more minifigs. Mm -hmm. And this is handy because since she's a hero, she can keep us safe from the urchin and the bullet bill. She now. can, yeah. All right, we're wrapping up. <laughs> Look at this. Tom and Charlie love their Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I believe they have a weekly game with a buddy of theirs, Rob. And uh, I think they've even gotten Bill in on a few rounds now. Now he's not their buddy. Come on, speak British. <laughs> their mate. Their mate. <laughs> their mate, Rob. <laughs> and they have been wanting us to join them for the longest time. And Tom thinks that I'm not going to enjoy it because I told him I didn't enjoy the building aspects of Minecraft. I wasn't interested because I tried it way back in the day and blah, blah, blah. But just for him, I'm definitely going to, to give this a go because in all honesty, whenever you can play a game with your friends, yes. with your mates, yes. it just infinitely becomes that much more fun. The funny thing is, is we wanted him selfishly to play Friday the 13th with us. It's true. So we bought a copy of it and sent it to him. And we're like, here, we want you to play with us. And, <laughs> and uh, so you don't even have to buy the game. And so I think he's getting us back by saying selfishly, he wants us to play with him. Yeah. So he's getting the game. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Touche. Good. And uh, we've got a Nintendo 64 game in here. It's got the weird uh, slots on the back. And it even says this is a, a European, a PAL game. Not only that, F1 World Grand Prix 2. Okay, so there's only like four PAL only Nintendo 64 games. Um, I don't know why he sent this to me. I don't even know anyone who would want this. Who would... You'd have to be like like some kind of weird nerd trying to collect every Nintendo 64 game or something to want this, especially being, you know, a PAL exclusive. Um, so, I mean, thanks for sending that, but uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll see who we can pass this on to because I, I, I don't know. I need to just roll it on out of here. Yeah, you know, uh, like I maybe you're trolling me? Maybe. But, you know, if you're trolling, like she said, we'll be rolling and send it off. Take a stroll with the troll. I might even dress up for you. Check this out, you guys. The Mafia Trilogy on PS4. Wow. Um, have you guys ever checked out Retro Gamer Boy? Mike has a hand in this. So we had to have this in the collection and I believe it only got a physical release overseas. But now we have it physically mm -hmm. in the collection, which as you can see is a big deal. And there's a bonus to it too. That's right. The reason it has been uh, carefully opened is because Mike was kind enough to sign this before it came overseas. I never played the Mafia games. I missed out. I really wanted to. The time period alone, the fact that it was a GTA style game, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, of course, I mean, anytime you're dealing with the Mafia, you yeah. know, how cool is that <laughs> as a storyline? You know, you're talking like 1930s, you got the 40s and 50s, and the Mafia 3 in the late 60s. Oh man. Yes, yeah, very this. looking forward to getting to play this and getting all of them. The weird thing is, he sent two. No, well, maybe one's mine. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, so. I get it now. There's two of us. I get one. So these two of these. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we'll just put both of these on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, actually we'll just put one on the shelf and then we'll just play the other one. We'll take turns. So that'll be perfect. I, I can't imagine anybody else that would be going to. Anyway, <laughs> well, 
Sega Head, pissed off Togepi. Tom, Charlie, oh my gosh, guys, seriously. You guys are way, way too sweet to us um, to send all this stuff. You know, I mean, oh gosh, I'm so, I'm so excited to try these games. Oh. I feel like they sent you games. They sent me Harry Potter stuff. They sent me in a whole bag of crunchies just for not. me. <laughs> and I am, I'm really glad to have tried these Mr. Kipling treats because yeah. the way they talk about them all the time, yeah. it's one of those, it's like, okay, what are we missing out on? And now we know that yeah. we are missing out. Yeah. But so it, it is funny though, cool. looking at them, I definitely <laughs> no, feel like that would have been something in the store, we would have been like, hey, let's try these. Yeah, yeah, because over here, of course, like the Little Debbie line, I mean, that's, you know, that's always fun to like try all the different varieties there. And I'm guessing this is just a small variety of what Mr. Kipling probably has over there. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what else to say. I mean, oh my God, you guys, mm, I, I literally don't know where to start with the games. I'm pretty sure this is where you guys want us to start, <laughs> but I, I, I may have to, you know, try try some other things out. Uh, I, I've got some some games from last time that you sent that I need to <laughs> try out. And uh, anyway, thank you so much, both of you the whole family. You guys are really ridiculously sweet. Um, we appreciate it so much. We love trying the treats. We do. That's from the UK. Oh my gosh. So Thank much fun. you. Thank you. Yes. And of course, one last time, guys, please check out the links in the description below. I'm going to put a link to Sega Head's channel because he's doing stuff all the time. And I'm going to put a link to Pissed Off Togepi's channel because Maybe if you guys get over there, she'll do some more Let's Plays. Mm -hmm. She's too much fun to watch. So, a little bit of encouragement. Get her gaming again. And, uh, you know, I mean, outside of Minecraft, of course. <laughs> and please leave some comments down below on what you think of any of these. Uh, any info on the games, been picking up the Lego Mario stuff yourself. Let us know about your Potter fandom or if you knew about uh, how delicious Mr. Kipling was all this time. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, go to their channel, subscribe and hit those notification bells. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it for, let's take a head and pissed off Togepi. And stuff. She just likes the stuff. <laughs> oh, and thanks for the shirt. I didn't forget about it. I'm just wearing it like a sash. <laughs> I don't care about the money. It's losing all the stuff. All right, all right. Did you guys cut that? Okay, thanks. Um, so yeah, I, I'm guessing that he sent the, the two, one for you and I, but I think let's take this one and let's just sell it, especially, you know. Oh, it does have a signature on it. The, the signature. It's gonna go for a lot of money. You know, physical, it wasn't available over here. Uh, it's semi-sealed. And this, we can toss in there as like a, a bonus. You yeah, know, like, yeah. like a, put like a little post-it and I'm like, hey, thanks for buying Mafia. You know, mm -hmm. There's yeah, this, because yeah. no one's gonna want that. Just, yeah. Uh, I think it's a good idea. What's the, what's the red light mean? What's the red light mean? Maybe we should have said pip pip cheerio, nerdlings. <coughs> Hang on, choke up. <clears throat> you know what's fun is I feel like oh crap, sorry, go ahead. It's like I literally just I filled know, it. I'm trying to fill in the space. Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I was holding that one in for a while. The thing is, Cruz. <laughs> Sorry, it's like right on the tip of my sneeze nose. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just can't hurt it. I'm about to build a thing and I think I like it. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> God.
god. <laughs> that did not come out right. I don't care. <laughs> I was actually talking to this thing, not you. <laughs> Some awesome stuff, man and woman. You. <laughs> I didn't want it to sound like I was only talking to him, but you know, we use man in the you know general term. All right, uh -huh. put that right uh -huh. there. Yeah. Thank you.